What is up YouTube, how you doing and welcome to 60 Second. I have no idea what this game is about but I've seen some people play it and it looks so much fun and I didn't want to spoil it for myself so you know what, without further ado let's hop right in. I see there's a pizza on the roof. What I think this game is about from what I could gather is that especially from the blimps there's going to be a nuclear attack and the game is called 60 Second so you have... 60 seconds to grab what you can and go into a bunker or something So you know what without further ado, let's see. I hope you guys will enjoy the video like comment subscribe if you are new and Let's dive in or out. Let's see what happens <laughs> uh, uh, New game Okay, so classic uh, Atomic drill Apocalypse, Scavenge, and Survival. Select a type of atomic adventure. Let's go with the first one, Atomic Drill. Learn all, of, learn all about how to scavenge and survive in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. Oh, it's a tutorial? Okay. Just before we go, oh, <laughs> we're going, okay. Hello. Welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention and you might just make it. Okay. Can I run? I can run. So, okay. All the grab control to skip something. Move to the yellow. Okay. Time, uh, no time to waste. Get moving and head to the market. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm here. Now what? Wait. There's no map. Move to the yellow eggs. Oh. Why would they turn why would they start me in the different position? Good job. They might just be hope for you yet. Just go keep those legs moving. Is there another X? Move to the X. Can I run? I can't run. Okay. So now I'm gonna pick up something. Not bad, but you're better uh, be in good shape. There is more where that came from. Okay. I I draw sergeant. Find Timmy. Fun time's over. It's a matter of life and death now. Find your son Timmy. Um, you can't sprint in this game. Uh, that's not Timmy. Uh, he's not in there. Oh fuck. Good thing you know the layout of the ha of your house. I bet you the Reds know it as well. Okay. Family comes first, grab to me, he will be the first to visit your cozy shelter. How do I grab him? How do I grab him? I'm breaking everything. Okay, I got I got to me. Now what now? That's it. Consider taking other family members to all leave the exact priorities to you, okay? Um Find the highlighted soup and grab it. To me is safe, but you need to find I can't read that fast. Damn it. Um Okay. Before I move on, my my mouse is running out of juice. I have to just plug it in. So find the highlighted soup and grab. Okay, I'm just breaking everything. Uh, there's a tiny man down there. What the hell? Okay. You guys can't see the clock. My bad. In that case, let's do... Anyway, uh, find the highlighted soup can grab it, okay? The soup can should be here, right? Soup. What? I'm confused. Oops. Oops. Oh, so, okay. Soup and excellent choices can sustain a family of four for a day. Okay. Uh, every American atomic shelter also needs a supply of water hunt for some bottles. Bottles. Everything is just breaking around me. Um... Not a fan of this turn rate. What am I hitting? Can I take the ball? <laughs> There's a water bottle. You will need it, trust me. To the shelter! Jeez, this thing turns fast. So there's nothing else I can do but click. Isn't it? You can only carry so much and every item weighs at one slot. You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the at the hatch before you can pick up more okay how do i drop it 
Drop whatever you are carrying. Okay. And then what? You want what? Bingo! You got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even a little Timmy. Yes? What now? No one knows how long you'll be staying down there, so you'll need a radio. Okay? Radi That's a radio, isn't it? I'm not familiar with... Not a radio. Not... So I can't pick up that water bottle. Smash down! Wham. Whammy. Okay. That's it. Nothing more useful than a radioactive outside. Okay. Jesus. So what now? Do I go in? Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings. But after it goes off, you need to start packing. Collect five items and drop them off in the shelter uh, in time. So, more soup. Soup! How does this work? Okay. I'm guessing because it's tutorial, I have to grab five, ra uh, five highlighted items, right? Okay, so... Uh... What? No room. Shit! Oh, I see. Okay. Come, Grammy! Come, Granny! Uh... It's a gun. No room. How is that one lady so... I'm taking all the people. I am getting all the people. What else? Flashlight. Gun. In case someone turns on me. Uh, soup. 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 Grab it. Grab it. Ah, shit. Run! 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Grab. 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 A volleyball. A volleyball. I can't grab. Can I? I'm gonna. I'm going to. I'm going to. Fuck it. Screw it. <laughs> Run, baby. Okay. So now what? Can I go in? Can I go in? How do I go in? I can't get in. So now what? He's probably gonna tell me. Now you know how to get what you need to survive, but your training is far from over. Okay. I'll see you downstairs for survival training at ease. Oh, at ease. Just jump right in so it's not that deep. <laughs> okay. Water, essence of life, basics, basis of survival. That went well. Did I get everyone? Am I supposed to do something? Soup? Oh, day one. You made it to the shelter. Congratulations. But the drill's not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You'll need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants when your survival journal is not open yet or hidden. Okay. First things first, we must ration food and water. If you don't wine and dine yourself and the folks you've brought with you, you, you can bet your bottom dollar. Oh, I, I love that thing. Uh, none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to give a person by selecting the picture of a can or bottle under their portrait. Or instantly ration out both by clicking... I'm not even... Fo I'm just reading. I'm not even focusing what I'm reading on. Like, uh, on the character's image, of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can survive four days without water. As, okay? So, it's like Fallout. Uh, the game where you go into the shelter, you have to have water and soup and so on. Okay? Oh, shit. Longer you... Uh, oh. What? The longer. The longer you deny your people ra your people rations, the weaker they'll get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. Time to ration supplies. What's left? Oh, okay. So I have to give someone up. What? Okay. <laughs> Since this is your first day down here, you'll you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow 
Night night. Oh, nighty night. Okay, so that's day one of 60. I'm glad I got the rifle. Look at it hanging there. Where's everything else gonna go though? So what now? Food supply, cans five. How long was I wait now? What is happening? What is that? Flashlight. Boy Scout. Scout, handbook. Sickness can be a uh, effect of malnutrition, radiation, or uh, other factors. So how, so what is the point? Card games. Did I pick up cards? To me. Mary Jane. Okay, come Grammy. Come Granny. And Dolores. Ted. So is this now day two? Good morning, survivalist. Hope you slept well. Beds comfy enough? No. Well, better get used to it since you will be staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities with ration rationing since you need to do it every day. But after that, we will move to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen, there is a risk you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical. I see. So I should not... I should not feed them literally every day just because it's there. To your survival. Uh, if they're gone, you will be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. So sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition day before it actually uh, departs. Be careful though. Tired survivors can never be a part of... Wait. Tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Can... Today, we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone outside. It's always better than, it's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Why single her out? <laughs> what the hell? Timmy is on his best behavior. How long would it last? Dolores is quite calm given the situation. This morning have has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. So Timmy is on a good behavior. Dolores. Okay, so she, they didn't uh, single Jane out. Best behavior, Dolores quite calm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, we're gonna go up again. And it is the tutorial. So I'll just give this to everyone and leave the water. Uh, sending people out to the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask, then you uh, can bet it's a suicide mission for them. Send healthy and send healthy and will uh, well fed. Uh, send healthy and well fed people. Sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. You can send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time you will need to send someone out. But if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. Who should you go? I'll choose the guy. Or are we gonna go as Timmy? Let's go as Timmy. Timmy, you're up! Time to be a man! I thought I'm playing as Timmy, hello? No one looks happy. <laughs> he looks bored. Sh uh, she, no, he looks depressed. She looks bored, waiting for something to happen in life. She does not look happy, but who would be? So what is happening now? Is this not day three? Okay. This is a drill. So your explorer will come back after a little while, but in an event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that'll test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see what they they we will see what clay you're made of but first ration your food and water we don't want anyone starving now do we there is there isn't anything new bothering mary she's not so that's mary there's nothing new bothering her okay oh mary jane okay timmy went out to the wasteland but don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back today was relatively calm for dolores Ted is, Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. So he's a moaner. Uh, she's calm. She doesn't look calm. Uh, time to ration supplies. <laughs> because you're not here. How do I check how hungry they are though? They've been a day without water. 
I don't want to use the last of water because I don't know what he'll bring back. So, you know what? Uh, no one eats. I'm an army man. So, I don't know a second thing about imagination. But you could probably use yours now. Picture this scenario. You came across your kid's, hamst kid's hamster. Who, in some bizarre way, found its way its way to the shelter the kids are obviously going to love it and so will you there's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own now it's up to you do you cook him the hamster we have soup i don't want to cook the freaking hamster I also i have had a hamster when i was very young and that thing i think lived for three days died and it was no it lived for a week actually it died Unnatural causes or unknown causes, not unnatural, unknown causes. It broke me, so no, I am not killing off a freaking thing. I'm not cooking it. I'm sorry. I don't care what clay I'm made of. I'm not cooking animals like that. Except if it's fish. Screw a fish. Wait, he's not back. How do I check, like, radio? Portable radio. Okay. Suitcase. Rifle. There's nothing really. There's nothing really else to click on, is there? Good choice. The little furry guy can stay and fatten up. It'll make a bigger. Bruh. It'll make a bigger meal in a few days, and maybe your only source of food if you run out of cans. What is what Mary Jane needs most right now? If there's one thing we need, it's water for the Loras. Water is what Mary Jane needs. Ted is really thirsty. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is the second day. Okay, you know what? Eat up. You might be faced with decisions that require you, to, require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might... Sometimes you might find that you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play uh, shadow bunnies using your flashlight. What? Do, 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 radio star Okay Oh, video kill the radio star, I forgot the song <laughs> Um, okay Why is this not empty? What? Did they, did I didn't choose this, hello? Oh, he's back He got water There's more, there's four cans of soup One is open What else did you bring? Oh, he looks dreadful Okay. The radio is critical to establishing communication with the US Army as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, maybe you'll catch some music too. Good news everyone, the expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun. He is hurt, look! Wait, is that his knee bone or something? What the f- What the hell? Look at that! Okay. This time your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the perp uh, proper use of a first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. There it is. We were, we were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. A pile of- Car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no cars survived the blast wave. But we went between the wrecks to explore anyway. Under the burned remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Those bottled water... Those bottles were not in the best state, but their contents looked perfectly drinkable. Okay. It seems like the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, they were big fans of tomato soup and the... Indestructible cans were scattered all around the parking lot. Nice! In a trunk of wrecked car, we found a fine sharp axe. That vehicle must must have belonged to a lumberjack or a serial killer or both perhaps. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine. Today. <laughs> she looks fine. Today. 
Timmy is very hungry, Timmy got hurt, Timmy is really tired, so don't send Timmy out again. Dolores is fine and well as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Ted is fine. The Del Dolores still doesn't look fine, honestly. Uh, so, what I can gather is that when you play the game, not just for the first time, but like, you have to, 60 seconds, grab everything, throw it down the, 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 the shelter. Obviously, you grab the people, but the people will take at least 20 seconds if you're not, like, quick. I don't know, since this is my first playthrough. Time to ration supplies. Okay, there you go. Can I, like, take it away from her? I can. They're fine. Didn't they say that? They're fine. Not eat, not eat. Wait, what did it say about uh, Mary Jane? Tim is very hungry. Mary Jane is handling the session well. She looks fine today. Okay. Hungry as much as you can. Okay. Everyone is fine. So I'm, I'm just going to feed him. Um... Not gonna, not, they're not gonna drink now. I'm just gonna give everything to, to little Timmy. You need to at least, uh, you need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you don't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. Oh my god, is that what the axe is for? A decent padlock may protect it. But not for long. This was a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance of getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. This is day five. Some snoring. They slept well. All thumbs break or use something in your fallout shoulder. Can I not do something with that, that thing? Um... Okay, so this is like literally you grab what you can and it becomes a story mode of choices We've only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today Shall we the first time you you were only asked to pick one unlucky but one Brave volunteer to save the day this time you will also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear feed your troops And I'll see you at the shelter Shelter entrance there, sorry, I was just like looking to see if my recording is all going well. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy should eat something. So Mary Jane is fine. Timmy should eat. He's hungry again. Uh, he has healed up, but it is used up. Everything seems okay with Dolores. There isn't much going on with it. No trouble. Nothing new. Okay. So Timmy should eat. Uh, Mary Jane is fine. Wow. These people can really t uh, like hold off. So let's do this. Boom. That's fine. Anything can be useful outside and some items even improve scavengers chances of survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase your explorer can carry more. Go ahead pick something. What? What to take outside? What? What is this? Huh? You know what? You go. Um, what to take outside? What is this? I'm con oh. oh! And that one is back. Okay. Uh, suitcase. Bye, Ted! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> She looks like she's mad at him. Okay, so this is now what, day seven? How long do people usually like live, live for? Morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why, why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. In the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. Your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you. This reminds me of that movie Indiana Jones with the skull whatever in the beginning where a nuclear bomb was detonated and he climbed into a, a fridge and obviously it's not realistic 
But what's, what I'm thinking now is like, if the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, right? And he was shot out of that little town, that fake town. How is that area not radioactive? And then literally he got out unscathed. So I don't know. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the US military and await a rescue. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Okay, they're starting to get thirsty. Uh, Tim, Timmy is very hungry. I don't feel like feeding you this time. The Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Ted left for the surface. We hope he will be back equipment. <sighs> okay. I see, I see. So now that, you know what? Let's also feed them. Everyone's happy. No, no, no. The rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come, come get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the wastes. However, you also need to be careful. It might not uh, it might not be only our soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse. And uh, jeez. Commies! Just imagine what will happen if the raids discover you. So let's agree to the rules for this drill. You only open this door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks! So someone's gonna knock. Where's the door? Where's the door? So, Ted is gonna be back tomorrow, day 8. He's back. What do I see? I see soup cans. No, X. He's got a gas mask. Okay, okay, okay. Nice Ted, nice Ted, nice Ted. Day 9, day 8. <laughs> you'll need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you'll, that you'll need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. And you'll need to make, make sure you make the most of it. Eat, drink and relax while thinking about all those commies bosses who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. And he got the briefcase still. Government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares and can easily be seen but most of them are barely reachable despite that a lot of them were already ransacked by scavengers how did they do that damn one of the food drops broke in mid-air and now it's raining soup luckily for us a few cans corns corns a few corns survived the fall cool so we got cans some crates were filled with very weird stuff. Why did they drop a crate full of rubber ducks? At least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles. Nice. We forced one of the boxes open and found an uh, impressive collection of stinky cheese and a gas mask. We discovered that eating with the gas mask on your face is not ideal. No shit. And since we value our lives and our noses we decided to take the mask and leave the cheese behind agreed there isn't anything new bothering mary jane to me might not look like it but he's a strong young boy he's doing just fine life is hard for all of us right now but the Lord is in a good mood today we hope it'll stay this way there isn't much going on with ted no trouble nothing new he didn't get hurt that's good so if everyone's happy Suck it up. As long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you in the ass. Even after a few days or weeks, consider your options carefully. This is a drill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. It is so hot in this room. I'm sitting in like an oven. So if my face gets red, damn. I have a oh radioactiveness. I have a fan next to me, but I'm not gonna switch it on because it will it might just make a noise. I don't know. Let's try, let's see. I don't know if that's making a noise. If it is, my bad. I'll move the mic a bit further. Uh my mic. Alright, so day nine. If I were you, I'd check the door. 
Our extraction team might be coming for you one day now, but be careful, this is a post-apocalyptic scenario and you never know what's coming. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. I'm not opening the door unless there's two knocks, like the guy said. It's impressive how well Tommy might look uh, like it, but he's a strong young boy. Everything is like Dolores. Everyone is happy. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. Okay. Let's feed everyone once. Someone, someone's at the door, you can hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out sequences of three knocks. Do you open the door? Nope. I kind of want to see what happens. Goodbye, sir. I said good day. Day 10, we survived. Okay, everything's about the journal, I see. Day 10, what the fuck? Into the ring. Good call, that wasn't the knock you were waiting for. Caution at all times, remember that. Be cautious. Apply yourself, and maybe you and your family will be just fine, or at least most of you. What is what Mary Jane needs most right now? Oh, okay. So Mary Jane is thirsty. Uh, Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. Okay. There has to be some water left. What about... Dolores should get it. If they doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Okay, it's about time for water, I must say. And I'm guessing the next day, as you were continuing imagine, uh, conti counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone's really hammering on your door and probably not talk taking no for an answer. Two knocks. Two knocks. The parent keeps repeating, do you open the door? It's two knocks, or is it two knocks, and then like, is it like... You know what, screw it, even if we don't make it, I wanna see what happens. The end! Did we make it? Well, this is tutorial, so I'm guessing it was easy. Complete the government endorsed Fallout drill. Good job! You're safe and sound with our brave soldiers and now we can all have some apple pie. You deserve it. Where did I get apple pie? You can now go you can now go back to your lovely house and continue your idyllic lives. If any atomic trouble comes your way, you know what to do and how to save yourself. I do hope it never comes to this, but if it does, good luck. See see you when all of this blows over. We survived for eleven days, almost two weeks. Day 5, Atomic Junkyard, Day 8, Government Aid, and Day 11, Successfully Passed the Drill. Nice! Hey, let's go guys! Well, this was a short video, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. What is after this one? Uh, I'm not gonna press continue just now. Because load shedding is about to hit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in either the next tutorial or the next one where we just like go off the rails. Let's go!